Hello everybody, how are you guys doing today? Okay, so we're gonna continue this JavaScript kind of thing. This one's gonna be super simple though, so we're gonna focus a bit more on the CSS part uh, on this video, but the effect we're gonna wanna achieve in this video is basically, you're gonna see this on a lot of websites when you scroll down. Uh, I threw up this basic website, so apologize if it doesn't look that great, but you're gonna come across a button and when you click that button, it's gonna to a model pop-up like this without bootstrap, without anything, just pure, simple CSS and a bit of JavaScript. So this is what we're gonna try to achieve. Again, we can scroll and it's gonna be fixed here. So when we, and we kind of click out of this. So we have to click here to be done with it. All right, so let's get going, let's start this. So I'm gonna delete everything that we have here so far, so. I think this is pretty much all that we need to delete here. And the CSS, let's delete these things. So we can start fresh from the start. Delete, okay. So basically, we're just left with this section here and this section and nothing does anything. Nothing does anything. All right, so all I have here is a button that's called model button. So that's the class I gave it. You can add, feel free to add any class names. Um, but yeah, so whatever you have on your page is completely fine. This is just a mock-up. And at the end of your page, we're gonna create the model here. So this is pretty much gonna be separate from, for, from everything that we're doing, okay? So it doesn't really matter what you have on your page as well. You can just do this from where I start right now. Okay rambling too much let's get going all right so we're gonna have to make a div here and we're gonna call it model bg i'm gonna get back to this later why we need this and in this we're gonna make another class called model this is gonna be the actual box that we're gonna see on the screen all right and in this we can actually start putting in our content so let's say h2 subscribe to our tank okay and then we are gonna have, let's say, a label here for, I don't know, let's say name, and then an input here, type text, should do the trick. Then let's say label for email. Let's put this like this, email, and that, that, that should be it, input, email. Let's get fancy with this and add name here. Name, email, uh, name, email. There we go. And let's have a button that says subscribe. And that's all the HTML we need. So it's quite straightforward. And it's gonna be here. Now I have a height 100 on this thing, on this subscribe section, so that's why you're gonna see that, hey, just in case you're wondering, like, why is the text all the way down here? I just added this for space, no other particular reason. Okay, so that's the whole, that's the whole HTML. And we can start in the CSS now. All right, so the reason why we need this outside model BG is because we wanna add a, a little opacity on this whole thing. So when we click on this button, it looks like everything else darkens and fades out. So that's the reason. So we're gonna select this outside model with model BG here, dot model BG. And first we're gonna add a position fix to this. And then we're gonna add a top zero and left zero. So this just makes everything stick up there and left top zero. All right, this doesn't look so great so far, but we're gonna make it nicer. We're also gonna add a width 100, so it goes all the way to the end. And we're gonna add a height, 100 view height. So it covers the whole screen here. Now we're gonna add a background color. And we're gonna say here, Actually, we're going to use RGBA here and we're going to say 0, 0, 0 because it's black and we're going to add 0 0.5 here. 
So it looks all faded out like this. Now you can mess around with this. You can add 0 0.2 if you think that's too harsh or 0 0.8 if you're hardcore, 0 0.9. <laughs> I, I like 0 0.5. I, I think it looks okay like this. It looks, it's the perfect balance for me. Okay. All right. So we got that. Now we're going to have to position this into the center right here. So for that, we're going to say display flex, just to keep it simple, justify con justify content center. And then we're going to say align items center. So this is going to align everything in here. So yeah, that's almost pretty much it. And now that we have this, we can mess around with this the model, so the actual model here. And for this, we're going to say background color. Let's just put it white for now. There we go. And now messing around with the height and the width is quite simple because we have this parent class, which indicates that, hey, the whole screen <clears throat> is covered, right? So if I put width 50% here, is basically gonna take up half of the entire screen. For me, I found 30% here nice, and also the height 30% looks pretty okay. Now, to make these nice, we're gonna do display flex again, like this. We're gonna say justify content center, align item center, and it's not looking nice yet. So we're gonna say flex direction column. So it doesn't go in a row like this, it's gonna go in a column. There we go. And to make this even nicer, we can change the justify content from center to space around. So it gives a bit of space here. Uh, I'm gonna just copy this font here, the best font in the world, just so. It looks a bit nicer. And for the button, I'm just gonna copy these tiles that I gave this button up here. Again, feel free to make your own buttons. Model button. And we're just gonna copy this there. All right. So, yep, there we go. Now, obviously, when we join, when we come across this website, we don't wanna be presented automatically with hey subscribe to our thing now right like nobody wants to see that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the model bg and we're gonna say visibility hidden and we're gonna say opacity zero so this is gonna hide everything basically so we're gonna see absolutely nothing right now great now, what we want to do in JavaScript is basically add a class to this, which is going to make this thing visible, right? So I'm going to create a class that we're going to add on top of the model BG here. And before I do that, actually, to make it nicer, we can add a transition to this. So for transition, I'm going to say uh, for visibility, visit, I'm just copy this because I don't know how to write visibility. There, we're going to say zero for this because we don't want to animate this at all. We just want the opacity, but the visibility is actually going to hide the content. So we cannot like go across it by accident. Visibility zero and opacity. We're going to transition this with like 0 0.5 S seconds. There we go. Now we can start creating the new class here which is going to activate. I'm just going to call it background active, BG active. BG active, that's the name. Uh, fine, let's do BG active. Just active, OK? <laughs> that's all we need to know. And here we're going to say visibility to visible. And we're going to set opacity to 1. Great. All right, let's see if I missed something here. I don't think I missed anything. I think we can start going into the JavaScript. All right, so open up the JavaScript. Here, we're gonna have to select the button here, which we gave a class of 
model button. So we're gonna say variable model button document dot query selector. Okay, this is how we select things. And I forgot <laughs> model button happens every time. There we go. All right. And we also need to select this thing, the model BG, because we're going to add this class on top of it. So we're going to say model BG here. It's document dot query selector. And we're going to select the model BG. Perfect. All right. So on model button, so on the button, we want to add a event listener. So on click, we want something miraculous to happen. And what do we want to happen? Well, we want the model BG dot class list. So we access all the classes, add, and we're gonna add our new superbly awesome BG active. BG active here. Let's see, are we lucky? Refresh, boom, there we go. It appears. We cannot close it right now because I forgot to add these pan to it. So feels bad, man. But hey, we're gonna fix that right now. And also we have hey Spotify. <laughs> we our transition is not taking place here because I forgot to add the comma 0 0.5 and fix this little error. There we go. Pop up less. Okay, so. I forgot to add the span for this. You can keep it simple. We can just go here and demodel and add a span. Just say X. And we're gonna add a class of model close for this. Good. Uh, model close. And we can actually take this. So now it's here and we can position it up there. So in the CSS, we can say model span or we can select directly model close and here we want to add a position absolute top 10 right 10 pixels let's let's do it like that let's add a font weight to it bold now it's not going to work because we need to position our parent class which is the model to position relative. So let's go back to our CSS and we're gonna say position relative and magic, magic, it's gonna show up right where we want it. Now also we can add a cursor to this pointer so we can actually, it looks like we're clicking it. Good, now to close this, quite simple. We have the model close here. I'm just gonna copy this and we're gonna say var model close document dot query selector model close and we want the same thing to happen model close dot add event listener and on click function and here we want the same thing here but we want to close it so you can just copy this paste it here and just not add we can do remove and we are done my fellas let's see click perfect it works we can click outside of this because we have width height 100 and we either need to fill this out or close it there we go also feel free to add like animations maybe when you open this up you can have like a small transition like the box coming up a bit make this nicer again feel free to do whatever you want with it so hope you enjoyed this video that should be it hope it's pretty simple if you have any questions left make sure to leave it down in the comments uh, thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of these I'm going to be back later, probably in a few days, I'm going to do more of a lifestyle type of uh, just talking about things and programming, web development and things like that. But I definitely want to keep up this uh, tutorial kind of series because I really like it. Uh, but yeah, feel free to let me know what you want to see next from me. 
All right, guys. Take care. Love you. Peace.